Okay, so here we are on the other island. And if we have a look where we just came down here, you can see that basically it's a kind of log cutting machine. So the logs would come across from the other island, from the wood, the trees, come into this, be shredded, and uh, across this side you can see all the shredded wood. And this is going to be used for making Gen's books. Um, the whole industry on the island is based all around Gen and making his books. Now this is a kind of strange building. We can see here underneath that it's lit, it's got some kind of fire ignited like gas underneath heating the room. I think if we go this way it doesn't really go anywhere. Yep. All we have over here is some rocks. And this very kind of uh, rich coloured water. Here we have what looks like three pressure pipes, much in the same way that we had on, uh, you may remember, Dome Island had its pressure pipe network. Now, right now, that seems to be designating it on this pipe here, and we can see that pipe kind of goes off in that direction up there, and this pipe runs here to this building. It stands to make sense that we're going to have to do something with that building right now seeing as it's one of the first things. So I'm going to turn the pressure pipe to face this second pipe. We can see that's the incoming pipe right here. That's the one going out. So that will hopefully give us any power that we need for whatever we may have to do with this building. So now if we go and have a look here We can see a temperature gauge here, which is reading very, very hot. Can't enter the building right now. So one thing we're going to need to do is turn off the gas. And we can see here the pressure coming in obviously regulates between two different you know, valves. There's also an outlet pipe going off to our left there. You can see here the water boiling. And let's see what happens if we turn this. Okay, well that has turned the gas off. We can also see there's a depth of water here. Let's see what else we can do. Got a switch here. seem to have done very much. And this pipe leads in. Let's see what happens if we turn this thing. Ah, now that is draining the water. But perhaps in order to get that switch to work, we need to turn the pipes here, change those over. 
put some power into this other pipe here and see if that will do something ah, evidently it does and uh, I can't help but think that would be helpful for us because otherwise it wouldn't be there Right, so now we've done everything we can, let's go and have a look, or everything there is to. Let's go and see what we've done. I'm kind of impressed that I've actually managed to remember so much, because I remember this being quite a hassle for me before. There's obviously some kind of pressurised boiling room, which must be in... Uh, his process of perhaps bleaching, preparing the paper of some kind. And this has obviously brought up the level for us to be able to walk down here. So let's follow it and see where we go. Hmm. Uh, it's actually taking us into that outlet pipe that I was highlighting before. So, we'll just follow this, see where it takes us. Another ladder, and we're coming out into the light. Hmm, I really want to go back. Ah, we can step out though. This is obviously an outlow, outflow even, wastewater pipe. We can see over there, over here we have another island. Well, let's follow the path. Here we can see Dome Island, but uh, this is another island over here. And it'll obviously, you can see, it'll probably link to Forest Island, which is here. And our island will link to the dome island here. And our path takes us down. Now also, I think we'll lead this way, but there's a little door here. And also, we have a grate here, which is now unlocked. So, like our little, um, like our ladder before that gives us a secondary access out. And this takes us, ah uh, yes, to a little tr sort of trap device. You can see the fan running up here kind of circulation fan. I'm not entirely sure what this does. Ah yes. Now if we take one of our little pallets onto here, close it up. And this should I think send it down. So I'm guessing we need to turn on or turn off the power here. As we changed it before when we were down below, did this path go above anywhere? No, it just goes back. See that we can see something over here though. So then a, you can clearly see a walkway. There must be some way of getting to that point, and if we can't walk over these cliffs here, then it stands to reason that it must be in that little room we just came from. So if we go back down, we can turn the pressure back for this section. You can see the pipe pressure goes off this way. That's the incoming pressure. So we go and check this out down here.
And then we can walk right around the boiling room. We'll call it the boiling room, I think that's what it is. Okay. And we just want to move our little lever back one notch. So now we just want to go all the way back up to the top of the cliff. And let me tell you, if you are playing this for the first time through, you have not you have not done backtracking in a game until you've played Riven. So if we go back into this room, we'll see what it's unlocked for us. Well, we can still hear the fan running. There doesn't seem to be anything we can do with that. But kind of weird that you can actually climb up there, which, you know, kind of instigates that we can do something there. It suggests there's something to be done with the fan. We'll send that little mechanism off now, though. Um, doesn't seem to be anything back here, but as with that stone place before, uh, when we were in the corridor, it's always really important to check everything, so I'm going to close these doors. You never know when there'll be a switch or something behind them. Or there could be a lever to, you know, perhaps stop that fan or something. Ah, well there's definitely a walkway to there. And to our right. There's two walkways. Okay, uh, well let's take the first one. Hello, I didn't want to open the doors. Yeah, let's take this one first. Oh, okay, well, it simply leads us back out to the path that I was talking about before. That was, I thought it was going to be more complicated to actually get over here then. I thought you'd have to walk through that pipe or something with the fan. Okay, let's check out this next one. Aha! We have another dome. Much more hidden than the other domes, I have to say. This one is really well concealed. There doesn't seem to be any kind of camera stopping to... Oh, is there? What's that? Something there on the wall. That's not rock. Yeah, there's something there. Look. We can't go any further around either. Uh, well, it looks to me like there's something on our right, so let's go back to this door here. Again, seems to love hiding things behind doors. So I'm pretty sure if I close this... <laughs> yep, there it is. Ah, uh, here is our stoppage device. So, as with other, all our others, we'll just close this. And I can catch it right. Let me get the other one so quick. Come on. get stopped. There we go. Oh. 
Okay, let's go see what we got. I'm suspecting, like all the others, it will be a protected linking book. And of course, it is. It's another protected linking book with a code which I have no idea what it is or cannot know in any way. So we'll come back to that when we know a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to finish up here for this one, guys. So I'll see you soon for the next episode of Riven.